Welcome back to another Family History Friday video with the Butler Area Public Library. In this edition, we are going to talk about Pennsylvania death records. We will cover the three main official eras of death records in Pennsylvania, as well as look at some outlier communities where you can find records earlier than the state mandated. We'll also look at some alternative resources that you can use to fill in the gaps when there are not official death records created by the state. And we'll look at places that you can find copies of all of these records. So let's get started. There are three main time periods that you want to keep in mind when doing death record research in Pennsylvania. Those are 1852 to 54, the earliest era that death records were created, 1893 to 1905, the second era of early death records, and 1906 to the present. Pennsylvania's earliest official death records were collected between 1852 and 1854 statewide. These are available digitally through Ancestry Library Edition, and they are indexed for searching. We also have print copies of Butler County specific death records from this era at the library. The originals statewide are kept at the State Archive in Harrisburg. You can find records within this data set through your searching either generally or on this specific search page, or you can navigate directly to one county specific records by clicking the link in the Browse This Collection section. I'm going to click on the Butler records and we'll look at an example. There are two records per page, so do be aware of that. And we can see that they do collect a lot of really good information in these death records, even though there are not a lot of them that were created in this three year period. So we can see that they take the name of the deceased, his age. We also have the name of both of his parents, his occupation, his place of birth, the name of his spouse, and rather interestingly here on line 11, the name of issue living. So we have the name of four children here for the deceased Michael McCray. We have his birth and death dates, the cause of death, the place of death, and the information of the person filling out the certificate. So a wonderful resource here if you are able to find a record within this limited time period. The state did not require the collection of death records again until 1893. And for the era spanning 1893 to 1905, counties were responsible for collecting records of deaths that happened within their borders. So deaths from this era, the original copies of the death certificates will be filed in each individual county. They are not collected in one main database held anywhere in the state. You need to visit or contact each individual county for records, although there are some places that we can get you print copies, print indexes, or digital copies of the records, which I'll show you now. So here at the library, we do have books that will help you with this era of research. Here we can see a book for the Butler County deaths that is actually a full transcription of these death records. For other counties, we have indexes, so you can at least find if the record exists and get the date, place of death, and certificate number, which will help you in your research. Online, you can find an index to deaths between 1893 and 1905 for Butler County via the Butler County Roots Web site. So here on the site, we can see the link to death records here in the center. And if we click 1893 to 1905, we can see an alphabetical section where we can search for names. Each one will be an alphabetical list of just the surname and first name. But like I showed you before, we do have a print copy with full transcriptions of these records available here at the library. Digitized microfilm of this era of records for Butler County and many other counties throughout Pennsylvania can be found via the website Family Search. In their card catalog, I pulled up this entry, which is the registration of deaths from 1893 to 1905 for Butler County. And here we can see that they are starting to index them, but they are not fully indexed yet across the state. Or I can click on the camera icon and view the images of the book when it was microfilmed. So here we can see images of the original death record book as it looks if you visit the county courthouse here in Butler. 
These records from 1893 to 1905 collect a lot of information, but they are not quite as thorough as the questions on the 1852 to 54 records. We get the name of the deceased, their gender and age, their marital status, place of birth, occupation, date of death, place of death, cause of death, duration of illness, and place of interment and date of burial. You will notice that for many records, the names of the father and mother are empty. That is because in this era, it was only required to collect the names of the parents of the deceased if they were a minor. Sometimes you will find people who were adults where the names were filled in, but it is uncommon. So unfortunately, if you are looking for the names of parents, often you will not find them on death records in this era. The Pennsylvania Department of Health was created in 1906, and from that date forward, death certificates were collected centrally by the Department of Health. You can find a selection of those records up through 1967 on Ancestry.com. They are indexed for searching, so you will find them through your searches generally or through searching on the specific landing page to this collection. And the death records remain relatively consistent in terms of the questions they ask throughout this era with just some slight changes. Here's an example from 1912. We can see that they ask the full name and address of the deceased, their marital status, their full birth date, their age at death, their occupation, their date of death, the duration of their final illness and any contributing causes, their birthplace, the names and birthplaces of their parents, the informant's information, which can sometimes be helpful in evaluating who knew this information, and the place of burial and date of burial. Let's compare it to a later death record. This one is from 1959. Most of the questions are the same with some slight variations in the layout, but you'll notice that in this era, they do actually ask for the full name of the spouse, which was not asked in 1912, only the marital status was asked. Um, so that is an improvement in later records. But otherwise, the questions asked on the form remain relatively unchanged other than some design layout changes. Death records on Ancestry cut off for privacy reasons after 1967. If you need a Pennsylvania death record dating after that date, you can request one through the Department of Health. Information is available on their website about requesting records online, via mail, or in person at a vital records office, as well as information about who is eligible to apply for one of these more recent death certificates. In some larger cities and municipalities, official death records were created in years not collected by the state at large. Some of these records can be found through Family Searches catalog. For example, here in Western Pennsylvania, we can find registrations of death for the city of Pittsburgh that start in 1870, so almost a full two decades before the state required death records, and death records for the city of Allegheny, now Pittsburgh's north side, which start in 1876. These death records collect information quite similar to the information recorded in the 1893 era records. So you'll see the name of the deceased, their age and marital status, the date and cause of death, and birthplace, last resident, and burial information. Similar to the 1890s records, the information about parents' names will only be recorded when the deceased is a minor. But it is still important to know that we can sometimes find official death records earlier in larger cities. Even without an official death certificate, there are a number of ways that we can figure out proof of death. Some common resources that you can use are obituaries, probate records, church records, and cemetery records. Here in Butler County, we have our obituary and newspaper index that we have developed and maintained here at the library. So you can search that if your person that you are researching is located here in Butler County. Um, there are more than 478,000 entries spanning about 200 years of newspapers in this index. It's primarily obituaries, though you will find other article types. 
And as you can see, here's an obituary for Eleanor Curry, who died in 1826, decades before there was an attempt to create official death records here in Pennsylvania. Um, but it gives you her age, the date of death, and some familial information. So that would be extremely helpful. And here's another example from 1879, still a number of years before there were good death records collected here in Pennsylvania or in the instance of this person in Ohio because he was originally from this area but moved out of state. In many probate records, you can find certificates testifying to the date of death like this one, which was for Sarah Snow, who died on the 14th of December, 1891. Even if you don't find an official little slip like this in a probate packet, you can also often use contextual clues from it to narrow down a date of death based on when a will was written and when the administrative letters were filed. Church records like this one can show you documentation of deaths and burial. This page was excerpted from the copies that we have here at the library that are the burial and death records of St. Mark's Evangelical Lutheran Church. Those span 1838 to 1973. We do have a number of church record duplicates here at the library and a number of them are actually in German for the very early 19th century records that we have. And lastly, cemetery records. We have a great series of cemetery books here that were put together by the Butler County Historical Society. They transcribe information directly from headstones found throughout the county. So as you can see here, not only do we get date of death if it was provided from the stone, but often there are contextual clues as to if they were the son or daughter or spouse of someone or their specific age, which you can use to calculate a birth date. And here's a second example from the Bear Creek Cemetery here in Butler County. So even if you do not find a death record, don't despair. There are often ways that we can get creative with our research and find the information that you need.